Hey, what's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? So I'm going to show you guys how to update um, the software on your VVDI tool. Okay, or firmware. So if you guys are not sure what software you guys have, you guys can check your VVDI. Um, from the main menu, press the letter C. And it's going to send you to this section right here. So you're going to go down to update, press enter. And it should tell you right there, okay? The software, which is V3.2.9, okay? So we're going to go to download, okay? And this is uh, xhorsevvdi.com, okay? So um, <clears throat> we're going to go down. It's just gonna, we're going to go right here to upgrade kit software. And it's going to send us to uh, mega.nz, this website. Okay, so this is the X Horse update kit. It's telling us to download it. So we're gonna go ahead and download it into our laptop, okay? Okay, so we downloaded the X Horse update kit. And we're gonna go down here and open the file, okay? So how do you want to open this file? So after you guys downloaded the upgrade kit, uh, we're going to open it with zip, okay? I use this program, it's called 7-zip. Then you're going to go, you're going to open it, okay? You're going to open the downloaded file, okay, which is X-Horse update kit. Excuse me, you guys. X-Horse update kit, and we're going to um, as soon as we open it, this should be all the way down the bottom upgrade kit Click on it and it should start. It should start installing the software onto your computer. Okay Go to upgrade kit exe And you open it and it should start like I said, it should start um, Installing onto your computer and that's what it looks like X horse upgrade kit Okay. So we're gonna press yes. Okay. And this is the upgrade version that we want for our VVDI tool. I believe it's a 3.2.8, but it's giving us another version right here. Okay. Give it a little bit time to load. Okay. So after you guys downloaded the um, upgrade kit and installed it onto your computer, it's gonna set to a screen like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect our VVDI tool with the cable that we got, okay? Which is the USB, okay, information cable. We're gonna connect it. So now we're gonna go ahead and find device, okay? So we're gonna find device and you guys see the screen changed, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and press upgrade. Okay, so right now it's upgrading. Upgrade notes, use the USB cable. Check device connection status, check driver, download the latest software and data, okay? So right now it's doing all of this. As soon as I plugged it in, so as you guys can see, downloading file. Okay, it is connected. Okay, VVDI. As you guys can see, it's downloading. So we're upgrading to the latest version, 3.2.9. Okay. 
so this upgrade should help you if you guys were having error codes with some universal wired remotes that were saying error um, this should help out with that you know updating it and there should be new features so I'm going to show you guys some of those new features after we're done with this okay all right you guys so the upgrade is complete okay it took about 40 minutes okay so we're going to press okay awesome all right so after you guys press okay we can now start using our bbdi key tool we successfully upgraded okay to, to the version to the newest version now we can um we can start generating smart keys okay as you guys can see i'm going to show you guys which smart keys we can start generating these are the smart keys that we can generate you guys okay key let's go what a nice little features let's look at the honda ones okay so those are some of the smart keys that we can start to program with the vvdi key tool all right so thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video and it helped you guys out make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more cool videos if you guys have any questions or concerns please leave it down in the comment section below okay Till next time, you guys.